I'm nervous. So. Noivis. Noivis. Uh, this is the uh, Bam Big Box, and this Bam Big Box is the Bam Big Box pop culture galaxy theme, and it came with a Bam Big Box big price tag of $125 plus shipping, which for one autograph is a lot of money. So, hope it's good. There's just one autograph in here? Yep. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to Box, Pop, and Beauty. I am Michael. I'm Kendall. And today, like I said in the intro, we have the BAM Big Box, and I am terrified. We did get the Box 3 for BAM Pop Culture and BAM Horror, and they were excellent. So, I'm feeling a little better, but I was a little nervous after Box 2. But yeah, this is the BAM Big Box Pop Culture. If you remember... Um, the first one they did was Ghostbusters, then they did uh, Elvira, um, and now this one is Theme Galaxy. I think that's all the ones they've done. Seems right. Maybe it'll be Chris Pratt. Well, <laughs> I'll I, be disappointed. I know that that autograph costs over $200, so that's not it. Uh, maybe it'll be someone from Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe. <laughs> Berserk is just rolling around back there. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's not make you wait any more. We already did order the Bam Box Horror, the next one, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there's any available still. If there are, uh, we'll leave a link down to Bam Box below. You can go check it out. But it's Stephen King themed, and it's a guaranteed dual signed uh, piece. Um, also, something to note, this one with the higher price tag was 125 the new one is 100 they both are supposed to have beckett authentication so not bam authentication which is pretty cool so they have a third party anyway here we go all right here's what we are looking at there's a couple of pieces right on the top oh it's more than just an autograph yeah it's, i'm just saying there's one autograph piece oh. but you still get like props and pins and art print and stuff like that which one do you want do you want to do that box or this yeah this guy okay Okay. Is the theme of these the same as the it's theme of the It's all ga galaxy. So it's not the same as the autograph. Space stuff. Aliens. Millions of unusual small creatures lurking, lurking everywhere. Muscle. Oh, it's like a retro -y. Are these retro toys? What is this from? 2017, so they're not retro. Interesting. So it's like aliens toy. You're, they just, you're getting hair everywhere. If you watched the last video, you can know we haven't changed. I love my cats. Anyway. Hi, Zixi. So, alien muscle figures. So, that's you know, not going to be something we're keeping. All right. Feels like I got some pins. <laughs> that's cool. Might be keeping these. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> what is it? Oh. So, you have... The Mandalorian cool. and the child. Those are pretty cool pins. Um, I don't know what they limited these to, but yeah, those are really cool pins. Do I get to do it? Uh, I think there's an art print still. What do you have? The autograph or the art print? Art print. Ooh. Hey, I wasn't wrong. Guardians, oh, Guardians of, of the Galaxy. Galaxy. That's a really cool art print too. 154 out of 350. Okay, so we know they made somewhere around 350 of these boxes. That's a really cool art print, though. Like that, that'll go into our bigger book. All right, here we go. $125. Whoa. Okay, that's not bad at all. That is... Is it that big... Is that guy on the screen? Yeah, it's Ian McDermott. That is really cool. And this is actually a really cool print because you've got him as a hologram here talking to Vader. I wish I knew. She's not a Star Wars person. But he has done... I mean, he's known in the States for... Um, Star Wars, but he has been, I think he does like mu like 
Broadway type. I'm not sure if they're musicals, but he does acting like live stage acting. He is a pretty accomplished actor. So that is a really cool autograph. Um, I'm not sure what he would charge it. I don't know if the if you've ever I don't know if he does conventions. Um, definitely hasn't done any that we've been to or been around. So I know typically the convent at the convention scene, other than like the Ace Comic Cons, the Marvel people typically charge like around two hundred twenty five, two hundred fifty dollars. Um, the higher price ones at regular Comic Cons that we go to are typically around a hundred. So I would easily see him. Like, I know we were supposed to go to Emerald City Comic Con and Anthony Daniels, who played C-3PO, was there. Uh, obviously, it got canceled, but he was charging $100. So I could definitely see the value being there. Um, an 11 by 14 authenticated. I do think the value's there. That's a pretty cool autograph. So yeah, that I'm really stoked out of my collection. I'm really happy with the picture we got. I don't know if they're... If there's a spoiler sheet with this one, I don't see it. I don't think that they're probably because of the printing issues going on right now. So I don't know what other um, options there were. If I can find them when I'm editing this video, I'll put them up above us so you can see the other options. But I'm really happy with this one. What do you think? The box. I think it's pretty neat. I like the fan art, or the art print. Yeah. And... I mean, I know his name, so I know that's probably a pretty cool autograph. I think the pins are really neat. Those are pretty spot on with what people are looking for right now. I'm not really sure about those muscle toys. I think, I don't, I just don't really no, the know muscle, what to say about the those. No, the muscle to toys are definitely going to be available. We are not going to be keeping these. Um, Maybe I, there is a collector. They might be a collection for, for them. I do kind of feel, um, if I did have a criticism about this box... I would say these muscle toys are very reminiscent of the um, the horror box with Elvira where they threw in that knife. Remember that pocket knife thing? Mm -mm. Oh, you know your memory. Anyway, I know I know Karen remembers it because Karen talks about it all the time. Um, they threw in this five dollar, ten dollar pocket knife. Um, I feel like this is kind of the same. Like I feel like could have done something like a cool prop or like an infinity stone or something cool you know what i mean like i don't know but anyway but the, other than that though the pins are pretty sweet i think i think you the do have is cool i mean if, if you want i again do not know so you can correct me if i'm wrong i do not know his price at a convention if he even does conventions but if he's around a hundred dollars ten dollars for authentication you have 110 dollars right here so 125 dollars for the box is not outrageous no let us know what you guys think. We appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, and notification belling, if that's even a thing. That's a thing. I've made it up now. And yeah, let us know in the comments what you guys think. If you did this, uh, let us know which uh, variation you got. And um, sorry, Brad, I, I can't get rid of a child pin. <laughs> I just can't. So just so you guys know, like, when we're filming this, um, Funko released new... Well, they're not out yet, but they're like pre-ordered new child pops today. And there's a Sips Tea one. Oh, my. Need it. Anyway, until next time, we appreciate the hell you being here. See you next time. Bye.